Here, we have a CMS collection of posts. And here, smack bang on the fifth item, we have a call to action block instead of a post. And the way we're doing this is actually pretty simple. All I've done is I've added an image of the call to action box above my browser that blocks out the item underneath. But what if that solution doesn't work for you? What if you have to close that image at some point so you can continue watching Parks and Rec? Well then there's another solution. So today we're gonna to look at how we can create a call to action block in our CMS collection, style it, and then order it how we want. So let's jump right in. So we're gonna start by creating a new item in our CMS collection. So we'll go into our CMS collection, blog posts, and we're gonna add a new one called call to action. Just call that CTA, and that's all we'll need to do. And once that saves, we're gonna go back to our collection and we're gonna find this item now. We can see that it's currently empty other than the actual title itself, but we're not gonna worry about that. We're gonna fix that now. So firstly, we've set up a card for the actual blog post information. And so on that card, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a condition. We're gonna say that the element is visible when the name does not equal CTA. And so that's gonna be hidden. And now we're gonna add a new item in. We'll just add in a div block into that empty space. And now that div block is gonna be added to every single item on the actual list. So we're gonna do the opposite for this one. We're gonna say conditions if the name equals call to action. And then only on the call to action is that div gonna be visible. And this is where a call to action card is gonna be. So let's style this thing. Just call that call to action blog card. Give it a colored background, bit of a radius. Let's do, let's try 24 padding. And now let's add some content in. Let's add the header and also the paragraph. And we're just gonna unconnect those so we can actually use them properly. It's not gonna pull from the post summary and it's also not gonna pull from the title. We'll just make this stay in the no. And then let's pull our paragraph from down here for now. And we'll add in an email form, but we'll just copy one of the ones that we've used below. Just use this one for now. Paste that in, and we'll just style this a bit. And we'll just add a small piece of text below as well. Change that to by subscribing. Make that even smaller. But either way, but either way, now we have our call to action card within the CMS collection. So what we need to do now is order it. Now the way that we're going to order it is we're going to add a new field to the actual CMS collection. So we'll go into settings, we'll add a new field and we'll just make it a number field and call it order. Save that for now, save collection. And we'll just test this order for now. So we're just going to add one to the first one and two to the second one. We'll just save that. And so this is going to make our call to action card the second item on the collection. We'll close that down. And the way that we're gonna sort our list is add a sort order to the collection list itself. So we're just gonna add a sort order. It's gonna be the order, and we're gonna do largest to smallest. So now since our call to action is number one and our second item is number two, it's showing in the second slot of the collection. And so depending on how far we wanna move it down, we can simply add more items to the front of the queue. So in the collection, I'm gonna add a three. Scroll down here, make that order three. And now that's gonna be bumped to the front of that list. And so we'll add a couple more. Make this one four. And this one five. And so now our call to action block is the fifth item within this collection. So this is looking fine and dandy and working well, but first there are a couple things that we wanna fix before we finish up. Firstly, if I add a new blog post, for example, let me just duplicate this one, and I create that, that blog post is actually falling to the very end of the collection. So to fix that, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna add a sort order, and it's going to be created on newest to oldest. And so first it's gonna show our five items, and then it's gonna start the most recent posts in order. Now, since there's no way to make the most recent post before the call to action cards like these ones, you wanna make sure the first items before the call to action cards are your best ones. And so after your best posts and your call to action card, it's gonna show your blog posts in order of when they were added. And so that's fix number one. And fix number two is now that we've added this call to action card to the collection, it's gonna show everywhere that we have that collection. So if I go into my home and I scroll down, I'll see that within my latest collection, I have this call to action card and of course the new card that I just added. And the way that I'm gonna fix this is just click on the list, go into the settings 
and we're just going to add a new filter that the name does not equal call to action. And so it's going to show every item with a name doesn't equal call to action and therefore hide that block. And so we just want to make sure we've done that for every list where the card might appear. So maybe in our blog post template, now it's appeared in the related posts. We're just going to click on that list and then add another filter. The name does not equal call to action. And so that's fix number two. And fix number three is due to the fact that when we've created that item, it's also created a page for that item. And of course we have no content on that page. And this isn't too much of an issue because no user is gonna be able to find this through the website. We've taken away all the links to this page, so they won't be able to navigate to it through the website. But since search engines will still be able to see this page, we wanna disable search engine indexing for this specific page. And the way that we're gonna do that is we're gonna go into the settings of our site and we'll pop into the SEO tab. And down in robots.txt, we're gonna say, user agent have a little star for this one and then dis allow and this is the actual page that we're blocking so it's going to be forward slash post forward slash call to action and once we've saved that that page will now no longer be indexing for search engines so there we have it we're all done we have our call to action block within our cms collection and we're making sure that the item doesn't show up anywhere that we don't want it to so thanks for watching. If you have a video recommendation, feel free to leave that in the comments below and otherwise I'll see you on the next one.